Hi, and welcome to another edition of Friday Chatter. My name is Grant, and you all know Missy here. We are gonna start off by kind of reminding you guys, uh, if you're planning on visiting Ruby Falls, we'd love to have you, but please, please make sure you're uh, visiting our website, rubyfalls.com in advance and booking your tours. Uh, we do sell out, especially on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. So uh, make sure you're looking at that website in advance to, you can check the tour times there and then see what, uh, what, what tour time works best for you. Uh, so we encourage you to do that. Also, when you show up, please remember to bring your mask because uh, masks are required of all of our guests while you're inside the gift shop and on the tour. Uh, now I'm going to turn it over to Missy here. I was practicing my mask. I don't know oh. if people caught on <laughs> no, that. I didn't, get, but, I didn't see that. You know, cover that nose and mouth. You know, yep. I was just, you know, letting everybody know yep. <laughs> that they're watching. But <laughs> Thank you. another Thank you. thing that's happening this weekend that's really fun, you know, besides Ruby Falls, you know, exploring Ruby Falls, there is a royal tea party, which I kind of am excited about. I might be too old to attend, but there's going to be a royal tea party tomorrow, so Saturday from 2 to 4. It's going to be at the 901 Lindsay. Again, all links will be in the comments below with like directions and ticket info. But basically, it's going to, it's a royal tea party and it features 14 of like all of your favorite princesses. And it's actually celebrating the coronation of Princess Anna. So if you're a big Frozen fan, or oh, your yeah. kids are big Frozen fans, oh. or you know, you just want to be like a cool aunt, you know, take them out to the royal tea party tomorrow. Again, all information will be down below, but it's really cool because your ticket includes a royal like tea party buffet, meet and greet with the, all the princesses, so 14 princesses, which is kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then you also get your picture taken. So this is a really fun way if your kids um, are looking for something fun to do. I'm sure during this whole time, you know, you've been looking for some fun things to get out of the house and do. So this is a really great way to do, um, go out there. Um, they've also including some social distancing practicing. So it's very safe. Um, of course, face masks are face masks you have to wear um, to this event as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So be sure to check it out. Again, link will be in the comments below. Speaking of more fun, so that's Saturday, you know, okay. you go to the Royal Tea Party and then Sunday you can get your shopping on at the Chattanooga Market, which is one of my favorite places to shop. Um, but that's going to be at the First Tennessee Pavilion on Sunday from starting at 10 a.m. Um, and again, there's going to be some social distancing as well. They've actually cut the vendors down by 65%. So kind of a great way for everybody to mm -hmm. stay safe while you shop, but also kind of sad because there's some amazing vendors out there. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, you just got to cut down during this time, but sure. it's still a great way to stay safe and shop and get um, some of your necessities. So I like to really go get some of the fresh produce there. It's, you know, delicious. You're supporting, supporting some local businesses. So definitely want to go check out the Chattanooga market this weekend. So again, a first Tennessee pavilion links will be in the comments below. Cool. Awesome. Now, if you guys are hungry and you're uh, kind of in the mood for some Spanish cuisine, there's a really cool place I got to eat at recently called the Mayan kitchen. Uh, and I found that they have just all, all genres of Spanish food. So no matter what you're hungry for, uh, well, in the Spanish food genre, you're gonna find it there, but there's tons of food selections there. Plus they have a tequila bar and a full bar. Uh, live music every Saturday, they kind of alternate on Saturdays. They have live jazz music, and then the next Saturday they'll have salsa dancing classes. That so that fun. sounds interesting. I'd like it's to like try to go do that sometime. Almost. Yeah, That's exactly. Cool. And on cool nights, they have garage doors so they can open those up and kind of let the the cool air in, you can hear the sounds of the city, and it's just a really neat place. It has sort of a, uh, sort of a modern industrial vibe, but with just little hints of, uh, of Mayan uh, artwork, and so it's, mm -hmm. it's a really cool place. I've so. never been there, but you've sold me, so I think cool. I might have to go check that out this yeah. weekend because that sounds good, and I think the atmosphere really like helps for when you're going out and dining. I yeah, don't know. I think definitely. It adds a lot. Definitely. But, and again, we'll leave the link to that in the, the comments below. So if you uh, would like to make a reservation in advance, that's probably advised also in this time where they're practicing social distancing absolutely. as well and reduced capacity. So, Well, that sounds good. I'm definitely going to check that out this weekend because, again, never been there. Mm -hmm. But I think that about sums it up for this week's Friday Chatter. I think so. um, be sure to get your tickets for Ruby Falls this weekend. And of course, those lantern tours, again, we're kind of nearing the end of our lantern tour season. So if you definitely want to check that out before that season is over, Make your reservations as far in advance as possible. Mm -hmm. Trust us on that. So yeah. I guess you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I guess we'll see you then next right. Friday. Yeah, absolutely. All right. See you guys. Bye.